next we'll actually upgrade the update manager I will not go through the web client this one we will do this on another session alright here we'll install the update manager Okay, as usual, just like the vCenter, it is actually able to detect. Alright, an earlier version that has been detected and you'll be upgraded to 5. The good thing about VMware Media is it always has an upgrade path. Alright, for if you are still on VI3.x, you will have to upgrade your VI3 to vSphere 4. Point zero in order to do an in place upgrade to vSphere 5. Here we click next and accept the license. Okay, you can see here you can actually choose to delete the whole upgrade files on repository if you have any and download any new ones straight after you finish the installation. I'm gonna uncheck this. I don't have any old upgrade files, I'm gonna just leave it there. You have to provide your vCenter lock-on name and uh, user ID password credential. Same thing um, for an update manager to the database. The DSN may be created previously. Um, we will choose yes, upgrade and have also taken a backup just at the vCenter. Alright, I'm going to use the host name instead of the IP address and install. Okay, it's done. Right, I'm going to minimize all these windows and we're going to log in to vCenter 5 for the first time. As usual, the eval license will expire within 24 days. And for vCenter 5, same thing, you'll be able to manage the older hypervisor. In this case, 
I'm having a ESX 4.1 next we're gonna go to the plugin manage plugin and install our update manager and most of us will actually forget this but do note after your installation update manager you have to log into the vCenter to do this okay another new feature in um, vSphere 5 is that for the database it's no longer required to have a DBO and here, here you will actually see that the setup has detected the previous and it's going to do an upgrade for it Okay, we have completed the plugin installation. Remember, you have to do this on every vSphere client that on any different workstation that you're trying to access the vCenter. In this case, we are accessing directly. Okay, this is the new menu of the vCenter. You will see this new session called Solution and Applications. The Update Manager is here. Any other solutions from any third party vendor will be placed here for example any antivirus related APIs were actually created here alright next we'll move up you see that there are certain new items one of them is the storage profile and also a vCenter solution manager storage profile is something like a host profile you need to have enterprise plus license in order to use the VM storage profiles we'll go into the vCenter storage manager to have a look here you will see any VMs that has been created and you can actually manage from the solution manager right okay in this case why am I having this error because you need to have browser version ie 7 or 8 or at least Firefox 3.5 Okay, we'll go back to the host and cluster view. You see that there's something different here. You see the VMware tools currently comparing to 4.1. You have a check and not running or running. Same thing, you will also see the storage profile. These are new items that you can see. Alright, and if we were to create a cluster, right for the DRS, it remains the same. Management, power management remains the same. HA you see that here you are now able to specify the percentage reserve for CPU and memory separately unlike in the past in 4.1 this has been placed together okay I'm gonna just go through this virtual machine host isolation now is leave default as power on alright EVC has support more items now with future Intel processor in the latest is Sandy Bridge for this case. Okay, these are the same, so I'm not gonna go through. 
I'm not gonna add, submit this, so I'm gonna cancel this. Okay, we are done. This will be the vSphere vCenter 4 upgrade to vCenter 5.